And continuing our coverage on the Mauna Loa eruption, the northeast rift zone continues with two active fissures feeding lava flows down slope. And joining me this morning is USGS representative Katie Milliken. Good morning, Katie. Thank you for joining us. Morning. Thank you for having me. And Katie, I know at last check lava flows beginning to slow down, but what's the risk of the flow reaching Saddle Road? And what are you guys thinking that could potentially happen? That's uh, definitely still a possibility. Um, there are still, as you mentioned, two fissures active on the Northeast Rift Zone. Um, fissure three is sending a lava flow uh, headed due north um, for Saddle Road. However, the flow had been traveling on a relatively steep slope and is now reaching um, an area of flattered ground. So it's definitely starting to slow down. Yesterday, we had geologists out in the field um, pretty much the whole morning into the early afternoon, and they didn't observe too much movement in the flow. Um, and that's what we anticipated that as the lava flow reached that flatter ground, it would start to slow down, um, perhaps spread out laterally and inflate more. So we're monitoring that um, pretty closely. And right now we can't really say when it might reach um, Saddle Road. The initial forecast was within a couple days, and that was yesterday. So. Of course, as we monitor the situation, we're adjusting those forecasts as we um, observe how the lava flow changes behavior. And Katie, what are the things that you guys look at? What are the different factors that um, go into when you guys are thinking lava flows could you know, potentially come in contact with the highway? Are there certain things that you guys are keeping an extra close eye on? Yeah, of course, um, this is still a very new eruption. It only started on Sunday evening. Um, so we're taking a look at the rift zone itself. Are the fissures um, migrating? Is there any indication of activity moving to a new location? And we're not seeing any indication of that. Um, the fissure, main fissure three, has been um, pretty consistently the most active, or at least the, the past couple of days. There's another fissure four that has um, also stayed active, and it's feeding smaller lava flows. So definitely looking at the, the vent locations and then for the lava flows themselves, the topography that they're traveling on, um, whether or not the lava flow is channelized, um, factors like that definitely go into the um, kind of forecasting what might happen for how the lava flow might behave and where it might go moving forward. Is, is there any other areas besides Saddle Road that you guys are currently monitoring and could be potentially, I guess, in that path? No, currently, I mean, we, we are closely monitoring the entire volcano, um, really, yeah, 24 hour watch, um, making sure that this activity is staying where it is located now. Um, we don't see any activity migrating anywhere else. It's, it's really staying where it is located now. Um, so, of course, as the lava flow continues down slope, we'll continue to adjust those forecasts and see where the potential downslope paths might be. Um, and that information will be shared on the um, Hawaiian Volcano Observatory website. And we're also working very closely with County of Hawaii officials at the Civil Defense Agency. Um, and we'll be sharing that information. And of course, Katie, I know earlier this week we were keeping a very close eye on the air quality and that's been staying pretty good so far. Is that still the same this morning or are there new worries? Um, the VOG information dashboard is a great resource for looking at um, how VOG might be distributed across the island. We have scientists trying to quantify how much volcanic gas this eruption is releasing, and initial estimates are on par with the 2018 um, Kilauea eruption. So it's a significant amount of volcanic gas. Um, of course, that plume is wafting to pretty high elevations. So um, the VOG, VOG interagency dashboard is a, a great resource for looking at the VOG and how it might be distributed. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Katie. We appreciate you being here. Thank you for having me.